comfortable with. I'm just Ed. Uh, this is my house. Uh, last night about 1 a.m., a car came into the came into the house here. Um, I think we heard a couple of bangs beforehand in about less than 10 seconds. The car we heard a big bang, and then I came running down here. First instinct was to check on my daughter Rachel and I couldn't push the door open because oh it seemed God. like the debris or something was pushed against it. I managed to open it like so big, shouted her name and she was fine she said. But I can smell the, um, I can smell like it was really heat, I can feel the heat, I can, I can smell like the fumes, uh, the car looked like it was still running still. Um, so, and it was hard to breathe. Like Rachel said, it was hard to breathe. And true, I was having hard to breathe even in that little gap. So I took a sledgehammer and broke the side of the window to um, get some air in. And I think she was panicking at the time too because she was seeing more gunshots. And I think she was hearing it from the police or paramedics that was talking to the man in the vehicle. Uh, so after we broke the windows, uh, the RCMP said, Back it up, they'll take it over from there. Um, the RCMP later said, the constable said that, okay, she's coming out and she's walking, and that was a very, very big relief that she's coming out on her own. So, so did the car hit her bed? Um, like that's her bedroom, right? Yeah, that's her bed, and she was scrunched over to the, to the corner of the, of the bed there. Um, so she wasn't. So she was in the corner, so she missed the car. She was actually talking to her boyfriend at the time. Um, so she had fallen asleep, kind of crunched over in the corner there, and and the boyfriend, I guess, Aaron heard the uh, the crash too. He was still on the phone with her. Um, so that's really basically what happened. Pretty scary, though, eh? Uh, yeah, it was. It was very scary, and I'm I'm glad the car didn't hit her. Um, I think. How old is your daughter? Uh, 21. I think the car was actually ov over her but not touching her. I think that, I think from when I looked, when I broke the glass, I looked in, I think that's what I saw. Like the car was over her but not on her. So I was really happy. Well, I'm thankful for you that she's okay. Yeah. And just overall, I mean, this seems like a nice family neighborhood. Is it surprising to have a shooting? Uh, yeah, very surprising. This is a really good neighborhood. And, and the people are really, really nice here. They're very family oriented. We've been here about 19 years and we, we know a lot of the people. We know some of the kids that grew up here. Um, my kids went to Park Crest up the hill and Burnaby North. And, you know, we grew up here. And it's very, very shocking that this thing happened. It's, I don't know, it's just shocking. Did you see the man? Was he um, talking? Was he conscious? Um, no, I didn't see him. All I know is I I think when we were we were in the side of the house talking to Rachel, I think that the police, RCMP and paramedics were talking to him. And I think, I'm just hearing from what a conversation I heard, I heard is that someone said he was shot or something. Right. And that's when we first heard about it. Um, I know when the car first hit the house, my wife ran out here with the phone, when she was on 911, and then she said something like, I heard her say something like, there's someone in the car, there's still someone in the car or something, she said, please hurry or something. And at that, that's when I was trying to break the door down. So. Well, thank yeah. you for telling the story, and um, I can see they're getting your house fixed up pretty quickly, eh? Uh, yeah, they're great. That's Everybody's good. been good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, the paramedics, the firemen, uh, victim service, they, they've been super. They're, they've been really nice. Very, 